<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back for another video and this week we are back at the private range, the new private range I'm allowed to use from a friend of mine, which is pretty awesome place with a lot of distance, very safe, very secure, really cool. And as you could see on the video of last week, I'm touching up or catching up, better said, to some uh, long overdue videos that you guys have asked for. And today we're going to take a look at the LCS SK19, 22 caliber. Uh, I topped it off with the Vector Optics Continental 3x18 first focal plane scope, pretty cool scope. And we're going to record the reticle, of course, with the Eagle Vision scope cam and the GoPro for all the shots on paper for you. At the front here, I have my uh, chronograph on my chronograph mount, so I can also follow along with the velocities to see how consistent the regulator in the LCS SK19 is. So, without further ado, let's get this video started. All right, so let's first start off with the consistency to see how good the regulator is functioning on this LCS SK19. I got my chronograph set up with this nice mount here in the front. I'll put maybe a screen recording for you, so you can follow along. We'll do maybe 10 shots. I got a target at 25 meters, so you can also see the accuracy at 25 meters and no uh, uh, bullets go to waste, of course. So, let's first start off. Just to be clear, I'm shooting the JSB Monster redesigns, 25 grains. Start the screen recording. That's on. Let's shoot at this middle target. Eight hundred sixty six. Eight hundred sixty six. Eight hundred sixty eight. 868 868 859 800 ah, I pulled that one, I think. 868 And it seems I'm out of pellets. I've been using it just to side it in. So uh, how many shots did we get here? Um, we have eight shots with a spread of nine and a standard deviation of four with a velocity of 868, 860, something like this. Pretty good for this uh, semi-automatic rifle. So um, probably I will boost the velocity just a little bit when we go to 50 and further out to see if we can get some better accuracy, of course, because normally it should be flying around 900 feet per second, I think that's what uh, LCS advises with this uh, JSB Monster redesigns. So, accuracy at 25 meters, pretty good, it's just one ragged hole, let's quickly go have a look there, and then uh, I'll push out the target and I'll be right back. All right, so I've pushed the target out to 50 meters, I will uh, put also the screen recording of the chronograph so we can follow track with numbers, see if we get a deviation in accuracy, maybe it's due to a velocity change. First off, we're gonna still keep shooting at this 960, 970, uh, 860, 870 feet per second. And then I will crank up the velocity with the power wheel here at the back to the 900 that the LCS advertises, which is the best for these kind of pellets. So let's see what we can do at 50 now. First up, add a little bit lower velocity, As you see, I've changed the target as well. Then I can keep using the other one to sight it in. Not to forget the screen recording, of course. All right, left target first. 864. 866 864 866 866 
64. 854. 861. 861. How many shots are these? Shot count is at eight. So let's do two more. Eight hundred fifty four. Eight hundred sixty one. All right, not too bad for this lower velocity, which is still very accurate. Let's see how much it can be. Uh, it's about half a mil, something like this, which means it's about 15 millimeters. Um, let's crank it up. Let's give it two clicks. Two clicks. And let's see where the velocity is at. I'll aim down at the bottom at these uh, spinners. Or, uh, 896. 896. 898. 898. So maybe one more. Let's see where we are at. 921. 912. 912. 921. 919. So I think I will go back one click to that 900. 900. Five, nine hundred, three. Pretty consistent at 900. So let me quickly refill that magazine and shoot another group at 50. So refilling the magazine is very simple. Put the lever in the horizontal position so we can turn around the rotary magazine. And then it's just as simple as flipping up the cover you see right here and pushing your pellets in while rotating that magazine. Pretty easy. Now what I've realized is that sometimes you have to be careful when you push them in that you don't bend the skirts if you push them do if you don't push them in straight. And you keep doing this till all your magazine is filled of course. Once that is done close the lever and put this one back down and you're ready to go. All right, so I filled up the magazine. We are still above 150 bar. The regulator is set to what it seems to be 135, something like this. I've uh, cranked up the velocity to 900, as you could see. And uh, let's shoot another group at 50 to see if the accuracy improves with the 900 feet per second. So. Maybe the point of impact will change because I didn't re-zero the scope, of course. Nine hundred five. Nine hundred seven. Nine hundred three. 907 910 900 910 905 Nine hundred five. Nine hundred seven. I think I pulled that one just a little bit. Nine hundred seven. All right, how many shots do we have? Ah, eleven shots. Perfect. It seems like the accuracy is just a little bit better than with the nine hundred eighty-five. But let's go and inspect it from close by.
All right, so push the target out to 75 meters. And of course, the wind just had to pick up quite a little bit, but uh, we'll hope we can uh, power through it. Um, upon zeroing, I realized, I think I saw a small spiral at this uh, 910 feet per second. So I just went one click back down to 900, uh, 895, something like this. So let's see what we can do at 75. Maybe they will drop just a little bit low, but we'll see. As you can see on the grass, there is just a little bit of wind. Ooh, that one dropped. I don't know why. Right, so guys, that's the accuracy at 75, which is pretty good. I will retrieve the, the target in just a second. But I just get a notification from my, uh, or I hear a beep on my uh, camera, which means that I'm low on battery power. And I still have to finish off this video and then pack up and go home, of course, to edit everything for you guys. So let me quickly retrieve that target and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so uh, I quickly received the targets or retrieved the targets, better said. I have to hurry up a little bit because the battery on the camera is dying. I just put it into the electricity for five minutes so I could quickly film the outro. But this was our 25 meter target. The first one here, it's only a five shot group. If I push it in, it's uh, almost one hole. And that's the, sh the group here that we shot with the scope cam. The one that I pulled and all the rest went straight through that same hole right in the middle. Pretty cool accuracy, that's 25 meters, and I would expect this gun not to do anything less. Then we moved out to 50 meters. Remind guys, these are all 10 or eight or 11 shot groups, not just five shot groups. And we got some pretty nice accuracy as well. Let's push the back side of the paper down. Very nice accuracy right here. Most of the pellets all going through most or more or less the same hole and the same here. Very nice group as well. Both groups, I just had one flyer right here and another flyer right there. I don't know if it's due to the pellets or the way that I feed them into the magazine or uh, it's just the wind or it's shooter error, I don't know. But uh, without those uh, two flyers, those are groups that are less than about 19 millimeters, which is pretty cool at 50 meters. Then we moved out to 75. Same here, let's push it quickly down just a little bit. And we started off with that group right here. And we get a little bit of vertical stringing with one flyer right here and maybe one flyer right there. Is it shooter error? Is it the wind? I don't know. But this is still a very nice group at 75 meters. And then off camera, I shot the rest of the magazine. And as you can see, we have a very nice group here. And then the wind picked up, pushing them all the way there. But just a little bit of wind, it seems like even those 25 grain uh, jumbo monsters are still affected by a little bit of wind at a distance of 75 meters. But overall guys, I'm pretty happy with the accuracy of the LCS SK-19. I know there is another switch here on the side, <laughs> but I'm saving that especially for another video with leftovers of some pumpkins and some Christmas decoration that is coming up. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't uh, miss out on those videos that I'm still planning to make. I thank you for watching as always. Don't forget to like, subscribe and I catch you back in the next one. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha